Hi everyone, we are back with this scene once again because I couldn't help it because I just wanted to take a sneaky peek and I was just curious how things would have uh, played out if I uh, did choose to have Gale wow me just because, I mean, I'm already here at this safe point. I might as well just react to it for uh, in front of you all just because, you know, it is part of the gay, uh, the Gale romance. The way that things played out originally that is going to be the canon way that uh, things played out between Gale and Cord's first time together but again I just wanted to see what the other uh, what the other option was uh, instead of leaning in for a kiss I'm wondering what would have happened if Cord verbally did confirm with Gale that no I'm I'm in love with you too he to actually tell Gale that he is conf you know confirming to Gale verbally that he is in love with him <laughs> That's a relief. It would be a shame to spend my final hours making an ass of myself. I'm sure he would want to see that too. Um, oh, are they going to kiss? Oh, nice. Then they would have kissed anyway. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I hope that wasn't a parting. You're out of practice. Uh, I hope that wasn't a parting kiss. Not if I have any say in the matter. Heck yeah. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do. Intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave. Uh, show me. How about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. Ooh. Ooh. The scene oh. is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. This is cool. This is really cool. Sculptures, the paintings, the walls livened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself. Ooh. And as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun. Take its Aww. daily dive into the sea. Oh, that's so cool. This is really impressive, I will admit. This is sweet. I like this a lot. Yeah. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, this is beautiful, Gail. This is beautiful. Oh, what's wrong, Cord? What's wrong? My oh. favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. Mm -hmm. Oh. What's the book? That's your perfect? It seems lonely. Up all night reading? I do love that rebellious streak of yours. No, he's going to ask him about it. What's the book? It's called The Art of the Night, and it details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. A thousand nights? Wow. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, time honored and newly acquired. Mm. The art of the body, the exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. I just let's say we take a page from their book. I there's just something about seeing the two of them sit next to each other. Oh, this is really cool. I love how the light. I like. I love this lighting, specifically on Cord's uh, complexion. It just there's just such a warmth to his face, um, and w with the with the t the tint the tint in his skin. His skin tone. Um, it just is really great in this light, I think. Leave it to do to seduce someone with a book. You're remarkably upfront about your intentions. I like it. I'll remind you we're newly acquainted, not newlyweds. Uh, leave it to do to seduce someone with a book. And let's set the book aside and be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. Hmm. What do you say? 
I think that sounds delightful, but I don't see a bed. I want to be with the real Gale, the man, not the fantasy. This is a pleasant fantasy, but no more. Time to return to the real world. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to dive all. We're going to dive in. This is my alternate alternate uh, view of, uh, of this expression of their love with each other. I think that sounds delightful, but I don't see a bed. Oh my, look the at that stars cover. will be our bed. Oh. Come here. Oh. Okay. Why confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. Let me show you more. I, I love the music. I love this music. Cord's abs are rocking too. Show me no more. Show, show me more. Show me at all. It's beautiful, but it's with you I want to be with the man, not the illusion. No, no. Let's keep. Let's keep going, man. Show me more. Show me it all. Back at our camp. Back in our small, dirty, bloody patch of existence. But stay with me now. There are endless worlds out there. Countless ways to declare love. Infinite ways to express it. Too much for one night. This is very cool, as well. We shall try. Ooh. This is so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't even imagine it. But I'm sure... Sure, it must be delightful. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised at how. Wow! It, I mean, they're just they're they're just going. <laughs> we've got we've got some Doctor Strange things going on with the limbs. Oh man! This is wow! Two more, two gales. There you go. <laughs> Wow. Okay, Cord is just loving this. Wow. This is so creative, though. This is so creative. That... I, I, I enjoyed that thoroughly. They did a great job with this. Okay, I'm sold now. I am sold now just from the sheer, the amount of, of, uh, uh, the diverse paths that you could take, that that whole romance scene could have taken, because you could have done, you know, the illusion stuff, 
you could like you could have done the illusion stuff all the way through you could have done the non-illusion stuff all the way through or you could have you know done it uh, i've done a little bit in between which i love i love how that there's you know so much replayability in that way enough for me to just solidify okay okay fine fine you win bg3 you win like for me the gale romance is my absolute favorite table uh tabletop my absolute favorite video game rpg game romance that i've ever experienced <laughs> so good so good um that being said as amazing and awesome as that scene that we just saw was i still very much prefer even now that their first time together was the non-illusionary stuff um because i feel like that was already perfect i and i stand by that still i think cord really felt that being with gail not as a mage not as somebody who could you know invoke the weave to impress him he was able to share something with him that was just purely him as a human being and not as a magical being if that makes sense yes his magic is a huge part of who he is i'm not knocking that at all him being a wizard is a major part of of his identity but that's not the part of him that cord fell in love with and so i i like that i was able to see that because it allows me to um, realize what could be in their future when it comes to them, you know, spending intimate time with each other. Because, you know, I feel like you want to you wanna keep things interesting. You want to keep things spicy. You want to be able to experiment with new things. And so I feel like if they had started with that, if that's what they started with, it would have just spoiled things a little bit too much, you know? I feel like you kind of have to. I, I I feel like this the progression from what they did in in the canon with my first like playthrough of that scene. You know, is that's just the beginning, right? That's just the starting point, and they can build on that. And I can see their future times together intimately could could very well be what we just saw, and then some and beyond. Uh, to infinity and beyond. So, um, yeah. Mm, mm. So impressive. So impressive. Gail, I, I concede. You are, you are an amazing, amazing character to romance, I, I must say. And if that's how Gail's romance is, I can't even imagine what the other characters are, both male and female. I'm really excited to, to witness the romance scenes of the other characters because Gail I thought was just mwah, done perfectly absolutely perfectly I hope you enjoyed it too oh alrighty then is it getting hot in here just just out of curiosity anyone anyone feeling like that okay Gail sweetheart darling darling sweetheart Health increase, class features, gain two new spells. We are at level four, my love. Fire, wall of fire is fantastic. Stone skin is fantastic. Polymorph, I feel like being able to transform creature to harmless sheep is super fun. Phantasmal killer, haunt a creature with its worst nightmares. It takes four to 40 psychic damage per turn, cannot move, has disadvantage ability checks and attack rolls. Yeah, yeah. Otolux, Otolux Resilient Sphere. Encloses a target in a sphere of shimmering force, reducing its movement speed by half and blocking all incoming and outgoing damage. The target can't be huge in size. Okay. All incoming and outgoing damage might be useful. Ice Storm, Greater Invisibility, Fire Shield, bar Tentacles, Dimension Door, Conjure Minor Elemental, Confusion, Blight, and Banishment. 
I feel like I really want to do Otoluk's Resilient Sphere because it seems exclusive to the wizard that we don't have from any of other other characters. So the Conjure Minor Elemental is very tempting, but I feel like these two is what I want just because they are spells that no one else has. Are these all the only spells that I can get? Slow is good. Counterspell is... I've been using Counterspell a lot. Um, I haven't really been using Flight that much, to be honest. It seems a little situational in this game. Especially because you can only... It's a level 3, which means you can't just continuously use it. I get a lot more bang for my super jump ability... So, let's put Phantasmal Killer in there, Sleet Storm, Shatter, Mage Armor I definitely use for sure, Misty Step I use for sure, Magic Missile I use for sure, Slow, Counter Spell, Shatter, that's good. I feel like I end up using other spells besides Shatter. That's 3 to 24. Fireball is 8 to 48. And Vampiric Touch. Let's get rid of Shatter. Which means the only level 2 spell I have is Misty Step. <laughs> um, yeah. Which is not terrible. I could also use my level 2 spells for Magic Missile, so that's actually not bad. Um, just to get my other level 4 spell, so... Yeah. Looking good. <sighs> oh, yes. I really need to find, like, better armor. Ice Bite Robe... Armor of Agathis, Agathis, that seems like a really good ability. Ooh, smexy. Oh, and that actually goes well with his cape. That is smexy. Me likey. Okay. Okie doke. How long does this last? Always prepared. Ah, gain 15 temper hit points and deal 15 cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Yeah, um... Can only have temper hit points for one source. Until a long rest. Why not? Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I have a lot on my mind. Okay. On my way. Now we can move on. So here's what I'm thinking. Squiggy go solo later. You know, break free of their master. Renegades are rare, the dreams but not unheard of. Omelium is one such creature. A geish gone astray is no less dangerous for it, and its head no less valuable. Your family will answer. One with the weave. Hmm. Let's explore. So this is a... So this isn't concentration and neither is this. Can I have both armors on? I'm just curious. Oh! Armor. I can have dual armors. Wow. He has more hit points than I do. And I am perfectly okay with that. So here's the thing. I... I was thinking about it, and I I could go to the Moonrise Towers now, but I really want to have more pulse and screen time. I mean, don't we all? Let's be honest here. So, uh, I hate to do this, but yeah, let's. Yeah, yes, sorry, Will. Please. Let me drop you, drop you right now. Well, at least. Are you sure? The black and just 
just when things were warming up, Let's I know. Going. And then... Where is Halson, anyway? Halson. Halson. Oh, is he all the way over here? Halson. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> Come with me so I can live. Oak Father preserve you. I need you by my then side. Then you'll have me. Lead on. But first we're going to get rid of that ridiculous looking hat. As in not really getting rid of it, but just making it invisible. Oh, I can't see your handsome face, Halson. Your por your portrait was messed up, Halson. No oh. one stopped me yet. That's annoying. Okay. I believe there's some other things infiltrate Moonrise Towers. We were granted er entry to Moonrise Towers. The guards believe us to be true souls and, sent, uh, to, and have sent to speak uh, to a high-ranking cultist named Zarel. Well, I want to explore other places. Like, find the Githyanki Kresh. There's also the Waning Moon. Might as well check out the rest of these areas before we head that way. That sign above. This must be a brewery or distillery. Hmm. Curse distillery, no less. I suspect it holds more than just liquor. Yeah. Keep your wits about you. I'll take this. Everyone roll good perception. Right. Perceptive druid with a, what, 18 wisdom or something along those lines. Somebody's in here. Hey, Paulson, you sexy, sexy pack mule, pack mule, you, pack bear. Ooh, these are good. Those are not. I'll take the water. Those moving webs are creeping me out a little bit. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, that was what path lies before uneventful. Me? Let's go in the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. Open up. These aren't rotten. I'll take this. I'm sure you enjoy sausage, Halson. I'm just assuming. Ooh, another key. Oh, don't mind if I do. Collecting keys everywhere. All right. Blighted actor. Can I talk to them? A new drink. A new anything. I should speak up. Well, what's that over there? This build Thorom. One day I'll get there. One day. What is it you're trying? Where is it you're trying to go? Baldur's Gate, where the streets sparkle with silver. And the actors have jobs. Why does this remind There's you? There's a big tent, funny costumes, the circus. Yes, that's it. I was going to the circus. I'm sure you were, sir. I'm sure you were. I'm practicing my audition. Go away. Uh, unless you're buying the next round. Okay, that's fine. Oh. What an existence. 
I know about this one. Wow. Um, gaseous reflux. Physical attacks have added gas to this bold special brew. Numb. Your puny attacks can't break through the numbness Tizabit feels. He is immune to slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, and thunder damage. Great. 288 hit points. Great. Just great. Let's see how this is going to play out. I'm very curious. Hey, do you want to join our party? Yo! Clank! Go back down where your whistle tell you story. My constitution is my constitution bonus is negative one. What in all nine hells are you? What is it you're serving? I already drank some wine earlier, thank you. Attack. What is it that you're serving? Only the best oblivion. And beyond. <laughs> Go on. Cheers. Bottoms up. Go next. Oh boy. Was this once a man? The shadows have corrupted him beyond comprehension. Yeah. Pick up the tankard. No, I will not drink. Attack. Uh. I mean, I'm half orc. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, well, is he gonna attack me for not drinking? <sighs> Whatever. Cord's like, you know, here's to new experiences. Yolo. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Near to bursting. The next few sips could be his last. Hmm. Go on, drink. Make it drink. Be drunk. You and I both. To our good health. Drink with the brewer. Sleight of hand, mime drinking. D difficulty. All right. Inspiration, don't fail me now. Inspiration, don't fail me now. Why couldn't I have? Ugh. Inspiration, don't fail me now. Thank goodness. Inspiration. <laughs> Here's to you, sir. Here's to you. Nice. Ah, elixir. Ah, elixir. But such a small sip you take. Feel not. You will soon qualify. Can we leave before he blows up? Can we leave before he blows up, please? Uh oh. Oh dear. Do I have to do this check again? Now tell me a story. A fable. A saga. A story? That I can do. A story, you say? Uh, wow. Look at the box. <laughs> Look at all of this. From aboard a mind flare vessel, I've witnessed the hells themselves. I gazed on nature's bounties in a verted grove of druids. How about I had mad crazy god sex in the stars with my... Mistra, Mistra, laden lover or something like that. He would love that. I gazed on nature's. We can we can act it out for you if you'd like. We can do a, a theatrical piece. 
I gazed on nature's bounties and verdant grove druids. I have seen the goblin's vile rituals with my own eyes. A silver-tongued devil bade me feast in his lavishly appointed banquet hall. I ascended a great tower infused with the most powerful magic. I explored a lost fortress buried deep in Underdark's bowels. Hmm. The, I mean, the Mind Flayer vessel was really cool. I think he would appreciate that. Goblin, Singleton Devil, infused with magic, bowels. Maybe a lost fortress. I'm gonna go. From aboard a Mind Flayer vessel, I've witnessed the hells themselves. I mean, Mind Flayer is something outwor outworldly that he probably hasn't heard many stories about, maybe. 21. Give me an advantage, please. Thank you. I was like, give me an advantage. I'm a bard. So am I. When my cup runs dry, let me pour you some sympathy. You ask, you drink, then you amaze and fuse a stone me again. Who placed the curse on this land? How did you become what are you now? No, I will not drink. <sighs> Sleight of hand. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't have very many inspiration left. Off by one. Well, roll again. I don't know why I don't have like friendship. I don't think we're gonna get this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, my goodness. More stories. You better be weakened up for this. How much of these... How much Tell of this do I have to do? I feel like we're gonna have to fight this guy. I ripped apart a winged imp spawned from the fires of Vernus. An owlbear mother lunged at me. I slaughtered it in reply. I did not, by the way. I for sure uh, did non-lethal damage to it. Just saying. I conquered infamous hobgoblin Jor Zrags and his minions. I slayed a hideous pustule ridden, ridden hag. She died a gruesome death. I challenge a daunting phase spider. Its corpse is all that remains. A bullet made me its prey, but proved no match for me. A towering creature rose from molten lava. I felt with great wit and might. Sure. 16. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, I'm a bard. Please let this not be too hard. Also heavy. I saw such a beast in my latrine. A fierce foe. Are we done? Ask, question, make your query, and train once more. Mm, this is, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna survive this. Uh... How did you become what you are now? Father Catherine's laughter, not joy, not ever, never, only laughter. No, drink it deep. I don't think I'm gonna get it, folks. I would have tried. 21. Nope. 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 Fail. One more inspiration. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was ready for that to fail. How? How? How did that happen? I have no idea. The dice gods, man. The dice gods are in my favor. Father's personal mysterious secret. Secret. No. Not never. Father. 
understand. Order commanded. Don't say it. Don't say it. Urcage. The cage. Urcage. Talk and perish. Die. Buried. Buried in Thorn Town. Father told me. Take cover! Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Look at all that experience. Oh, I deserve that inspiration. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How the heck did I do that? How the heck did that happen? How the heck? I don't know how I did that by the skin of my teeth. Oh my goodness, how in the world, you all saw that, by the skin of my teeth, I had z exact, I had zero inspiration left, I needed a 21, I got exactly, exactly a 21 on the nose, oh my goodness, I have to save this, ah, a story you won't believe, Perhaps pass all performance checks when telling a tale in the brew to the brewer, oh my goodness, how... Did that happen? How did that happen? I don't know. Outlander, Car Carlack and Holson. Oh my goodness. Lizelle got one. Survive a fight, ensure all of grows defeat a member of the Thrawn family without drawing steel. The best offense is virt the best offense is virtually nonsense. A member of the Thrawn family. Oh my goodness. Well, I got two inspiration back. I used up four and I got two back. So don't expect that to happen ever again, ladies and gentlemen. I was like so ready to have to fight this guy or something. Hey, do you want, do you want a parting gift? Mr. Actors, Mr. Actor? Hey, you're an actor. You gotta appreciate the art. Come on, man. You may be undead, but you still got ears. Alright, fine. My genius is wasted on you. Fizz Bolt Rom. Ooh, Warren Key. Wyvern Stinger. I'll take this. Halson. My lovely pack mule. Pack bear. You can take all that. Baldur's Grape. Yo. To do mess our pardon. Uh, our master d distiller spills quite the cause. Yeah. Now settle your mind, chum, and get your shine on. Be will it what? Be will it what? Judging by the mess I doubt there's much drink left. Be will it what? What are you saying? Just by the mess, I doubt there's much drink left. Moon, mountain dark, coming r r right up. A man of proper taste. Hello, are you alright? Jump yourself up and whisk the old lucky to chug bug you. So be what? Chuck. The curse has left him with as much sense as a newborn slug. Oh, it's kind of adorable. My please, due apology, madam. Ooh, a shadow root sack. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'm sure we can distill that Never down. Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment to be sure. Rat bat blackboard. Waning moon distillery. No last call until the casks are dry. The rat bat? What's a rat bat? That's curious. Loose plank. Madeline's ledger. 
The words for the attention of dark justicia are Netasha are written across the top of every page. This is an expert from the last page. Morning, day 15. Simon Nowak, said Catherick. Wouldn't hold onto Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Imani Atati claimed it was unfair that the Thrums had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22. Mark Jobs, Benjamin Blanchett. Made jokes about the Thrums, especially Lord Catherick. Said he was a mis was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful. Lady Natasha, but they were they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut and were drunkest. The drunkest I've ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over heart, you never met two gents more devoted to the lady, I swear. A different, more elegant script beneath that under appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chit-chat, I promise. Hmm. What's the rat bat? Rat catcher. Attack rolls against beasts of advantage. Hmm. This feels like it's a little bit better. Cool. Quarterstaff or club? This is a great club. Got it. Okay. Shillelagh. Let's send this to camp. Got a long road ahead. Need to find a way forward. Something good here, I hope. I have a feeling, I mean, this is gonna be important. I wonder if we're looking for some more stuff now. You have a secret stash back here somewhere? Heavy chest. What other riches lie in here? Water? Okay. These things have stayed interesting. Research notes. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a thizzable thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured mm. several parts of a worm gullet but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Visible devoted months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients, without success. Mm. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Visible required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. Uh, the book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thisabled enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Hmm. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Could that be the what's in our ch that chest that we took back in act one that we're supposed to deliver to that wizard or something focus your eyes on the page mentally separate the black cake from the purple stain i don't know if i'm actually going to use any of my investigation for this inspiration for this uh it's okay i don't need poison that badly the page is a mess of dark color. The delivery's location remains a mystery. I don't need to, yeah, hope. If it was anything else, then sure. But like poison. Lovely mm. day this, for now. Not as much, not as important. Maybe Gale Ready could figure it out. We set visible after the petal book visible. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, 
obscuring the parcel's destination. Eh, why not? Party's consideration. I didn't just do a battle anyway, so... Thank you, sweetheart. Your mind separates the black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Fizzibald's purple worm poison. Thanks, sweetheart. This is why I keep you around. Recipe unlocked. Fizzibald's brewed up volley glimmer. Thanks, Scale. My time is yours. What do you need? There's nothing that would give me gr How about a kiss? That's right. Let everybody know. Let everybody know, in case... It was not obvious. The gods are watching me. Severely obvious, which it totally is. Um, cage door. What to do? Can I open this? Fine. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Huh. Yeah. Let's. We're gonna be looking at a lot of other houses here, so maybe we should bring on, um... Greeting. Chuck, you believe you can survive as you say. Let's bring Asterion. There's a plenty of places here that we need him uh, to unlock, so... Would be nice. What can I do for you, my friend? Come with me, Darling. my pretty. Lead on. Come with me, my pretty, so we can level you up. Nice. Evasion. Did we already level you up? I thought we did. The waning moon. Alright. Work your magic. That's okay. What? It's all right. We've got more. It's all right. You can evade it. You can evade it. With pleasure. Five. It was very easy to unlock, but severely trapped. Touch of madness, swarming fr night front, nightlight front, acorn front hole. Oh wait, I wanted that. Barrels. Hmm. All right. What now? Is that a human arm? Oh, do I even want to know? Barrels of skeletal remains. Yeesh. Elixir of resistance. Serpent fang toxin. Drow poison. The waning moon consignments. No time to rest. Hardly a challenge. Thank you. It's what was all these? We have so many like clubs, but um, they're not so many great clubs, but not like club clubs. All's well that ends. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Regular clubs. Would you like to know something interesting? If you mix suspension of venomous fang with vitriol of Lolth's candle, any vitriol will do. Out comes a poison, drip, drip, drip. When in doubt with alchemy, when in need of ecstasy, when my throat clicks with scream, drip, 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 is what I dream. It did not work, the platinum scale plan did not work, and I hurt so badly. It, it did not work, the platinum scale plan did not work. Okay. Nice. Best Serpent my fang way. toxin. Lots of cool things. In this back room. Sure. 
hello, my dear. Hello. That might be worth a look. Ooh. I think so too, Halsey. Let us extract all ingredients. Nice. Still breathing, despite everything. Nice. And this was quite a lucrative excursion. Songs for soldiers and sirens. What the heck? Can't give up now. Wish I had a bag of holding. something to ask he served us but we'll be forgotten soon Too quickly but now I can grab this right Big book of little drinking games. Oh, a mug of beer. Don't mind if I do. Still alive, so that's progress. Pain spree. Gather your pack and capture a gnome. One by one, your chums gloat how to best maim the gnome. In alpha, bet I ickle order starting with A. Come up short, take a drink. Last chum standing gets to kill the gnome. Example, heir to the bullocks. Break its shins. Club its head with broken shins. With the broken shins. Stoned. Get a stone. Invade an inn. Kill everyone there. Fill ten tankers with ale. Arrange them in a triangle on each side of the table. Long ways, you fool. Or arrange them first and then fill them. I don't care. Put half your chums at one side, half at the other. Takes turns throwing the stone at the opposite tankers. Get it in. Drink it dry. Ten empty cups your team loses. Winning team gets to yank a single claw of their choice out of the loser's feet. Okay, deal a drink. Attack a village with your pack. Keep killing till a chum loot a deck. Lo till a chum loots a deck of cards. Choose a dealer. I don't care how shortest tail, ugliest feet, something like that. Chum on the right gets two chances to get the top card, and dealer chum says if it's higher or lower. Dealer chum chugs twice if it the first try is right, and chugs once if the second try is right. If the chug guess chum fails, they chug the difference Drink between the final gold, guess and the card. If your last guess is four and the card is nine, you take five chugs. It's a, it's basic mathematics. New chum dealer when the last fo one fools two guess chums. New chum dealer when the last one fools two guess chums. Last one standing torches the village. This guy really is creeping me out while I'm reading the this. The broom man's popped, the floors are spattered, say hey for the pub. Oh, here's a theatrical Drain person. Your mug like nothing matters, say hey for the pub. Oh, that's pretty good, sir. All right. Well, pretty good. You know what? Hey for the, pub. the queens of the high seas. You just, you, you'd appreciate this. While Cord's doing his thing, we're gonna go off and do our thing. There's a lot of shadow root sacks. Um, 
Ooh, Potion of Angelic Slumber. Drink to fall into two-turn slumber. Unless interrupted, you gain benefits of a long rest. Ooh, on potions and elixirs. Part 9 of the Basics of Alchemy. Today I snapped at a good friend of mine in Elf Song. I'm embarrassed about it now. Not then. This prickly mood had come to me. Because for the first time in ages, I was thinking hard about my condition. Ideas for elixirs came to me. It would, be, it would have to be a very powerful elixir, since they usually only last until the drinker sleeps. Potions are much more limited in their application, not lasting as long. Though you can combine potions for simultaneous effects, whereas the digestive system can only handle one elixir at a time. Remember, when in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extra excellent. Lack of scales give me trouble when it doesn't hit it. Haha. Ha. Wake up sometimes with a wet pink imprint in my body on the white sheets, like a crime scene. Annotate in the margins. Someone has made the following note. Egg elixirs, only one at a time and last until you take a long rest. Potions can benefit from multiple potions at the same time, but don't last as long as elixirs. Oh. I did not know that. Oh, I'm only now learning this. That's cool. Alright, I'm hoping you enjoyed collecting all those sacks. Okay. Alright. Extract all ingredients. Nice. Muddy goo. Suspension of muddy goo to create, yeah. Putrefied tumor? Putrefied tumor? Ew. Tree bark. Salts of tree bark. Oil of bane. Serpent fang toxin. More grenades. More grenades. Elixirs of heroism. So it just lasts the whole until long rest. Nice. I'm just gonna chug a whole bunch of potions before the final battle. What to do? Okay, that's enough. Alright. I think we can move on. Whew. We did a lot. I don't like those vine-looking things. Not from that last encounter that we had. Brewer's alchemical stash. Oak Father preserve you. Yeah, there's the stash. You might as well get it. Did I just catch something? See. 